Hello, dear students. Now say here in today's lecture. Okay, uh, we are moving towards our next topic that is P block elements. Okay, we are going to start our new topic from inorganic chemistry only. Okay, what be the P block elements? Now I know you have idea about P block elements because you already studied in 11 standard group 13 and group 14. Okay, and most of the important part are regarding physical and chemical properties or we can say periodic trends you covered in your previous year whatever basic periodic trends in group 13 what beta yes boron family you already cover that is uh, bar ganga the indian tear and suppose if you are considering as a group 14 elements okay kasi gay shankar parvati means there whatever from outermost electronic configuration okay general outermost electronic configuration it is very much important okay means you are uh, starting of this chapter it is on the basis of means uh, suppose if you are thinking whatever reactivity of the elements it depends on it depends on position of the elements in the periodic table as well as on the outermost electronic configuration okay now see here as you know uh, you studied in universe standard s and p block elements okay which beta s is belongs to one and two groups okay and whatever we you studied in yes 11 standard that is 13 and 14 group we collectively called as okay whatever this you study we collectively we collectively called as representative elements what beta representative elements or we can call it as a in another words that is main group elements main group of elements okay now we'll discuss here in your group what in our periodic table we are discussing from this p block element actually we are starting from what group 15 to group 18 okay so pay attention here uh, we are studying of this what 15 group 15 to group 18 okay so obviously we will start from our group 15 elements okay so say here group 15 elements now in this case in this year group 15 elements what we are going to discuss actually we are discussing general introduction okay electron configuration uh, then occurrence okay oxidation states okay trends in physical and chemical properties okay so suppose if you are discussing regarding among these your group 15 elements as a nitrogen what beta nitrogen suppose if you are considering this so what will be the syllabus that we are going to discuss in this nitrogen so we will deal we will see what it is okay say we are going to discuss first preparation what we done preparation then what properties properties and uses okay compounds of what we done compounds of nitrogen then preparation say preparation 
and properties of ammonia the oxides of nitrogen oxides of nitrogen okay in that oxides of nitrogen we are going to discuss what structures only okay now suppose if you are considering after fifth c6 point regarding suppose if you are thinking about phosphorus okay this much thing we got to discuss about in nitrogen okay say uh, in that phosphorus as like this compounds of phosphorus their physical and chemical properties preparation okay preparation of phosphine their halides and also acids of phosphorus okay these important things we have to discuss in the first lay in group 15 elements okay now see here suppose if you are thinking about group 15 elements so we will discuss main important basic part of this group 15 element is what is occurrence what beta occurrence where it actual occurs your group 15 elements okay so we will concentrate on this as you know uh, suppose if you are thinking about nitrogen so 78% nitrogen it is occur okay on our earth okay and your nitrogen uh, there are major another sources also so we call it as a in the form of nitrates what be the in the form of nitrates so as you know in the form of nitrates how we will uh, see here uh, yes nano3 we call it as a what sil sol petre okay then uh, kno3 kno3 is what indian sol petre okay now here about uh, nitrogen so you all knows about very much important uh, occurrence about the nitrogen that is the whatever your nitrogen is an important constituent of your proteins amino acids okay nucleic acids and they are usually occurred in plants and animals also whatever the nitrogen okay now suppose if you are thinking about ye to baat hui abhi nitrogen ki suppose if you are thinking about phosphorus okay so इस फॉस्फोरस में क्या क्या पाया जाता है क्या क्या पाया जाता है इन द सेंस व्हाट विल बी वेयर इट ऑकर्स व्हाट बेटा वेयर इट ऑकर्स योर फॉस्फोरस सो हियर ऑल नोन मिनरल्स ऑफ फॉस्फोरस वी कॉल इट एज अ व्हाट ऑल्सो फॉस्फेट्स ऑल्सो फॉस्फेट्स ठीक है now here as you know uh, phosphorus belongs to one family so we call it as a what apatite what apatite in that mainly we can write the formula for apatite c3po4 twice cxo like that okay now suppose if you are thinking about phosphorite so they give your formula also about phosphorite that is c3po4 twice calcium phosphate okay now see here uh, in that some other apatites also there it belongs into family your apatite so we can call it as a what say fluoro apatite okay then fluoro apatite hydroxy apatite what beta here yes say hydroxy apatite hydroxy apatite okay now see uh, one of the important part about your 
phosphorus is what so phosphorus present in bones phosphorus present in bones as well as in living cells okay so what will be the major constituent means suppose if you are thinking about phosphorus so 60% of bones okay is composed of 60% bones and teeth are composed of having formula see what will be the formula take a ca3 po4 twice that is calcium phosphate 60% of bones and teeth are composed of this calcium phosphate okay now suppose uh, after this nitrogen and phosphorus we saw their occurrence now which elements are remain is say nitrogen phosphorus then after that what arsenic stibium or we can call it as a what antimony see here suppose if you are writing regarding occurrence the element the element arsenic then stibium bismuth okay in that their important source their important source for the element arsenic stibium and bismuth their important source as like this sulfides where it occurs in the form of sulfide so we can write uh, with the formula chemical formula so see as like this fes about arsenic sulfide and here stibium is is b2 is 3 and about uh, bismuth bi2 is 3 as like this okay now we will discuss here regarding what regarding your occurrence of this uh, group 15 elements okay now after this we will discuss general characteristics of group 15 elements so uh, you can mention our next point of our new inorganic chemistry topic that is p block elements okay so see here general characteristics of say beta general characteristics of group 15 elements general characteristics of group 15 elements okay so see here now before starting of our general characteristic of this group 15 elements beta you must know what you must know their general outermost electronic configuration what beta general outermost electronic configuration okay so see here uh, we will discuss uh, with what their elements atomic number then general outermost electronic configuration so see here as you know what will be the gc general electronic configuration or we can say general outermost electronic configuration for your group 15 elements so see here it is very much important you must know at any cost okay without without this you can't do in this block chemistry okay therefore it is very much important you have to work on this okay you have to work on this frequently then you will come to know because you already studied in your previous year where okay uh, in your periodic table also okay then your uh, from inorganic chemistry hydrogen s block p block now here fifth time revision is going on of that general electronic configuration and i know you may be of habitual of this this all and hona bhi chahiye habitual theek hai so see here about general electronic configuration 
See, we will write beta here. As you know, Nepal, Pakistan, Australia, sub Bayman. Okay. What beta? Mnemonic we decide for group 15 elements. Nepal, Pakistan, Australia, sub Bayman. Okay. So as you know, the atomic number nitrogen seven. Yes, beta here, your phosphorus 15, arsenic is what, Alte 1, here what, 51, and about your bismuth, yes, bismuth is what, 83, okay, now we, we can write what, general, okay, or uh, we can write total, means all, but here we have to take help of, here we have to take help of what? Our inert gas element to complete its electronic configuration. Okay, so see here how we can write. Suppose if you are thinking about 7, so what will be the previous one? Inert gas, yes, helium. So we can write like this helium 2, yes, helium 2 what? 2H2, 2P3, means 2 to 4. And this 3, 7, okay. Our group 15, what will come next? Helium to inert gas over. Next is what? Before 15, which one inert gas are coming always? Yes, beta. Neon 10, sorry. Neon 10, 3S2, 3P3. 1, 1 shell will increase. Okay. So, see. So before this 31, which one, what, which one inert gas will come, yes, after this argon 18, here involvement of this 3D subshell, 3D 10, 4H2, 4P3, understood or not, see ya, now next is what, before 51, yes, krypton, Krypton 36, yes, your involvement of what? 4D10, 1, 1 shell will increase. Your what beta? 5S2, 5P3, I hope you understood this. Your what? So you can count beta total. So see here, 18 plus this 10, 28 plus this 2, what? 30. Okay. So here, for about your general electronic configuration. See, suppose if you are thinking about your stibium, so you can count, say, 46, 48, and this 3. Okay, understood. So total are coming 51 only. Now see here, as like this, uh, about 83. Say here, uh, our arsenic, uh, what beta? Yes, arsenic, not beta 31 here. Sorry, arsenic, what beta? Uh, your atomic number. 33. So see here you can count 18 plus 10 here. Okay. 28 this 2, 30 and this 3. 33. Okay. Like that here also. See here. Next what beta? Your bismuth. Yes. Bismuth is what? What will be the previous one? Okay. So see here. Xenon 54. Okay. Then here what environment of Yes, 4F14, then what beta? 5D10, okay, 6S2, 6P3. You can count here, then you will get total of, of what? 83 here. Okay, I hope you understood this general, or we can say complete outermost shell electronic configuration of our group 15 elements.
okay so at any cost you must know this it is very very much important okay so here after this we will discuss atomic and physical property atomic and physical property okay so here write down beta after this general characteristics of group 15 element atomic say atomic and physical properties of group 15 elements okay so see here first in that we will discuss uh, in that we are going to discuss periodic trends what be the important periodic trends so concentrate on this first atomic and ionic radia what be the first here yes atomic and ionic radia so what about atomic and ionic radia okay as you know, know here uh, means from your uh, periodic table from your this s block element in p block element of element you saw the important periodic trend about your atomic and ionic radia so what will happen beta yes atomic and ionic radia increases down to the group or we can write on moving down to the group yes on moving down to the group atomic size yes atomic size what we do increases from increases okay so here we will discuss uh, see there is a regular increasing the atomic size from nitrogen phosphorus okay okay nitrogen to phosphorus there is an increasing atomic size but but see we, uh, we can we have to mention this but from arsenic to bismuth only only a small increase in what atomic radius or we can say here in that covalent radius it is because of why here from arsenic to bismuth there is a small increase in covalent radius because see here what it is a reason because there is because there is involvement of involvement of 3d okay there is an involvement of what d or we can say what there is an involvement of d and f subshell d and f subshell so now only we saw whenever we are going to discussing here outermost electron configuration in that only we saw uh, in your what arsenic uh, then your cbm the antimony it contain what there is an involvement of d and f subshell okay in this much there is a 4f subshell okay that's why what in heavier members there is a increase there is a small increase in covalent radius so here you must know about this atomic and ionic radia with this exceptional case okay otherwise we are generally saying yes what atomic size increases down to the group but up to what extent that we have to we are discussing deeply in depth we are discussing in this topic 
Okay, because it is a very much important topic for your competitive as well as for your written exam also. Okay, so pay attention. Uh, basically, it is highly weighted topic. Okay, highly weighted, near about eight marks topics for your theory exam and in competitive exam. Three to four questions are coming. How much, beta? Three to four questions. I mean, suppose if you are thinking uh, from each and every family, group 15, then 16, 17, 18, like that. Understood? Okay. So, we will discuss your next study of ionization enthalpy. Ionization enthalpy. So, see here uh, what will happen. What will happen in ionization enthalpy? Okay. See, the first ionization enthalpy, uh, we will discuss first what will be the general periodic trend about uh, down to the group what will happen. Okay. General trends we will discuss first. Thereafter, we will discuss what is actually going on in these group 15 elements. Uh, any other element they are uh, showing some anomalous behavior or not. Okay, that we will discuss here. Okay, so ionization enthalpy, as you know, generally down to the group decreases because why down to the group decreases? Uh, as you heard this statement, because from nucleus to outermost shell, nucleus to outermost shell. What beta distance increases? That's why whatever ionization enthalpy value decreases. Okay. Uh, you can mention, you can write in your notes also. Okay. It is what about general trend. Now here we will discuss what will happen in this group 15 elements. Okay. So see, uh, you can uh, write this. See, the first ionization enthalpy the first ionization enthalpy of, of group 15 are, are higher than that of group 14 elements. First ionization enthalpy of group 15 are higher because why it is like this beta why it is like this because see here suppose if you are considering in group 15 elements so we saw now only what will be the general outermost shape and configuration NH2NP3 and about your group 15 what sorry about your group 14 what there is a NH2NP2. Here, NP3 means what? NP3 is what? Half filled piece of shell. So, whenever we have to remove that outermost electrons from this piece of shell, it is already half filled. So, we can't remove easily. That's why ionization enthalpy of group 15 elements are higher. First ionization enthalpy is higher than that of group 14 elements. So here we can easily remove because there is no uh, any half filled sub shell. Okay. Understood. Here is what? Half filled. Okay. So like that difference here. Or we can mention uh, why I mentioned enthalpy down to the group decrease due to increase in atomic size and what screening effect okay so these are what all about your ionization enthalpy suppose beta if you are thinking about electronegativity what beta electronegativity so electronegativity as you know suppose if you are considering generally top to bottom Yes, from top to bottom, electronegativity value decreases and along the period increases. Okay, along the period 
increases. Okay. And you know, beta, uh, fluorine is the most electronegative element among these all periodic table. So that only same trend we have to discuss here. Electronegativity down to the group decreases along the period increases. Okay. Because atomic size down to the group increases. So you can mention here. Fourth, fourth we will discuss here metallic character. What beta? Metallic character. Suppose if you are thinking about metallic character, so what will happen? Whatever this here group 15 elements are basically less metallic. What beta here? Less uh, metallic. And as you know, this Napad, Nalar, or we can say in Marathi also or in, in Hindi also, Nepal, Pakistan, Australia, Sabirman, like this. And as you know, this N and P is what? Yes, non metals. Non metals. S is what? S and we can say is B. What beta? Metalloids and is what? The bismuth is metal. But up to here, we can mention uh, whatever these group 15 elements are what? Less metallic. Less metallic. Okay. So here, uh, we cover this fourth point. Now we will discuss our next uh, property. Okay, we discuss here periodic trend also. And about metallic and non-metallic character, you know. Yes, uh, what will happen down to the group and what will happen along the period. Along the period or we can say from left to right, what will happen about their trend. Okay, so see here. Next, we will discuss Pita, melting and burning point. Melting, melting and boiling points. So, see here, uh, we have to mention uh, important sentence here. I hope you are writing, you are removing notes also because it is the extraction of this topic. Okay, so you have to mention neatly, clearly in your notebook. At the time means uh, whenever necessary, we are discussing questions also. Okay, uh, because uh, these theoretical questions, theoretical aspects are very much important. Okay, in that generally what will happen beta? Yes, in this topic, uh, reasoning type questions. Okay, complete the following reactions, then structures, okay, these only types. So you have to concentrate on this theoretical background, theoretical aspect. So see here, melting and boiling point. The melting point of group 15 elements, so see here, the melting point of group 15 elements first increases so see uh, it is very much important why it is first increases why thereafter what will happen see the welding point of group 15 elements first increases first increases from nitrogen to arsenic nitrogen to arsenic and then decreases from okay stevium to what beta bismuth stevium to bismuth so here we can mention the boiling point of these uh, elements increases regularly on moving from uh, nitrogen to okay what we discuss here melting point 
we discuss here regarding important statement about what about your melting point so melting point of group 50 millimeter first increases from nitrogen to arsenic then decreases from cbm to bismuth so what will be the reason behind is why here melting point what decreases because from stevium to bi it is here reason is what due to inert pair effect why it is increases because of or we can say due to inert pair effect so beta as you know i think you know this what will be the inert pair effect so inert pair effect means what yes down to the group what will happen s orbital electrons can't take part in bonding formation these are what inert pair effect or in other words we can say what generally down to the group whatever your oxidation number decreases by 2 units decreases by 2 units and as you know suppose nitrogen they are showing plus 5 in their compounds okay plus 5 in their compounds so here we can mention what will happen in this group so say roughly we will say beta now nepal pakistan australia sab beiman okay suppose if you are roughly discussing uh, nitrogen also they are showing plus fine their compounds as you know you can calculate immediately see in nitric acid nitric acid is what hno3 you can calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen atom yes how much plus 5 only you can calculate so here also plus 5 suppose if you are discussing any compound of oxo acids of phosphorus h3po4 so in that also your phosphorus is what plus 5 so see here here plus 5 here also here plus 5 they are showing arsenic but but what down to the group whatever your oxidation number decreases by 2 unit because of inert pair effect they are trying to completing inert gas configuration therefore what plus 3 plus 3 oxidation number is here for your group 15 i hope you understood why melting point decreases from stevium to bismuth theek okay. hai now we will discuss about boiling points okay the boiling point the boiling point of group 15 boiling point of group 15 elements increases regularly what beta increases regularly on on going from nitrogen to bismuth because as you know here you can mention because there is a increase in what because there is a increase in yes increase in atomic size down to the group okay there is a increase in atomic size down to the group that's why what there is no in exception regarding your boiling point of group 15 elements okay i hope you understood this thing okay so beta you have to mention this all in your notes okay next point uh, we will discuss here that is catenation what oh, beta catenation so see here in catenation catenation property 
so concentrate on this catenation so catenation is what yes catenation is already self linking property what we call catenation is what self linking property so among the group 15 elements phosphorus showing maximum tendency for catenation phosphorus among these group 15 elements phosphorus showing maximum tendency for catenation and as you know uh, the phosphorus are forming what cyclic compounds or we can say open chain compound ठीक है अंडरस्टूड सो दीज आर वॉट रिगार्डिंग यूर कैटेनेशन सो वट एवर आई टोल्ड यू हैव टू राइट इन यूर नोटबुक ठीक है नाउ आफ्टर दिस से आफ्टर दिस वॉट एलो ट्रॉपी एलो ट्रॉपी ठीक है नाउ हियर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट वॉट एवर names say here of all your nitrogen phosphorus theek hai allotropy so see here except nitrogen except nitrogen and bismuth theek hai except nitrogen and bismuth all other elements all other elements of this group shows shows what allotropy examples we will discuss with the examples so phosphorus say phosphorus exist as say phosphorus exist at white black red what beta white black red theek hai arsenic arsenic yellow or grey see here antimony yellow or yellow or silvery grey theek hai so these are what the different different allotropes theek hai now we will discuss here about oxidation states see here we will discuss about oxidation state so we will uh, continue our next okay. oxidation states what beta oxidation states okay so in oxidation states see as you know beta your phosphorus phosphorus shows oxidation number from means basically your phosphorus shows various oxidation states it oxidation state shows from minus 3 to plus 5 okay theek hai so see here suppose if you are thinking about phosphorus so ph3 in this ph3 oxidation number how much minus 3 of this your phosphorus and in this 3po4 phosphorus oxidation number how much Plus five, like that. Okay. Uh, in calcium phosphide, Cl three P two. What? These are also here three minus means like that. In different different compound, they show what different different oxidation states. Like that, your nitrogen also there. Nitrogen. Uh, you know the compounds of nitrogen in this three. In that, they are showing what. Minus the oxidation state. Okay. Ah, uh, then suppose if you are thinking my Mg three N two, what will be the oxidation number of your N minus three only? N three minus like that we are dissociating. Okay. 
Now uh, here in this case, nitrogen we saw we saw here. Now we will discuss about stevium. How your arsenic they are showing different different oxidation states. Okay. So pay attention. We will write here one compound of that. Sodium arsenide. What? Sodium arsenide. Na3S, okay. Zinc, zinc what? Antimonide, zinc antimonide. So like that, Zn3SB2. Okay. Now, uh, in some cases, your nitrogen they are showing minus two also, minus one also. So we will see here. Okay, before that, say the tendency of an element to exhibit minus the oxygen state decreases on moving down to the group. Okay, from phosphorus to bismuth. Why it decreases down to the group? Due to increase in atomic size and there is an increase in metallic character. Whatever minus 3 oxidation number. Okay, that decreases down to the group because metallic characters are increasing and as you know beta metals are what always electro positive that's why this condition will arises understood uh, here as I already told your nitrogen they are showing minus 2 also minus 1 also okay now uh, among this all group 15 element uh, their oxidation number ranging from plus 3 to plus 5 okay and here one more important point regarding your oxidation state so that uh, we will write here okay no doubt for all that want we discuss that all are important only okay say on moving down to the group on moving down to the Grove from where nitrogen to bismuth. The stability, the stability of plus five oxidation state, plus five oxygen state decreases, decreases while, while that of plus 3 oxidation state you can write completely plus 3 oxygen state increases because of as you know we discuss means I discuss here on moving down to the group stability of plus 4 oxidation number of or oxidation state decreases down to the group while that of plus 3 oxidation number increases down to the group because of what? Yes, guess beta. What will be that property? Important property. Very good. Because of a nine pair effect, you know the definition. I told the definition also. A not pair effect is what? Yes, a orbital electrons are can't take part in bonding formation okay so here uh, suppose if you are thinking about compounds of nitrogen and phosphorus okay see here suppose we will write here next point about pcl5 pf5 sbf5 bif5 Okay, so they are all showing with all compounds are formed due to what presence of D orbital here, involvement of D subshell, they are all forming such type of pentahalides, or beta pentahalides. But but nitrogen does not form compounds such as but your nitrogen does not nitrogen does not form 
compounds okay such as NCl5, NF5, etc. Why it is? Because it does not contain vacant d orbital. It does not, we can say, absence of, due to absence of d orbital, it does not form such type of compound. So, like that question frequently asked, so many times asked. Okay, so pay attention on this. Now here, one of the important part is what? Nitrogen can exchange. So see here, uh, we can write beta here. Yes, say nitrogen can exist in various oxidation state. Nitrogen can exist in various oxidation states and that ranging from minus 3 to plus 5 minus 3 to plus 5 so we will see here compounds with what here we can write we can mention compounds and here what oxidation state compound with oxidation state so suppose if you are writing here what compounds so you can write in h3 into h4 in nh3 they are showing minus 3 in into h4 with the hydrazine hydrazine into h4 nh2 nh2 okay minus 2 nh2oh they are showing how much minus 1 into how much 0 yes in n2o there is a plus 1 in o what we have plus 2 okay see here in over in 2o3 there is a plus 3 what we have in 2o4 there is a plus 5 and last but not least n 2 5 what plus 5 each and every here nitrogen they are showing like this variable oxidation states about your nitrogen you have to mention this all you have to write in your notebook okay now if you have any doubts regarding this content you can share any time okay because it is all theoretical your topic a uh, small small here reaction structures and each and every whatever i'm saying it is important also work on this okay revise continuously so whatever next part we will discuss in next lecture thank you